Hey guys, how's it going? I can't seem to start the vlog today. I can't seem to get past, hey guys, how's it going? <laughs> oh. Anyways, hi guys. I hope you guys are doing well. Today is Tuesday morning and um, we spent the, the, uh, the weekend. Well, we spent the weekend, we went to the beach, went to the park. Um, what else did we do? Stocked up on groceries. Uh, went to the lavender field. That's kind of been what I've been up to recently. Um, I've also been doing some Zara shopping. Well, I went to Zara. Um, as well as Trilogy, which is another, like, I wouldn't say it's a concept store. It's just a store that sold loads of different brands. Yeah, they sold lots of, they had a lot of discounted designer wear, basically. So ready to wear. They had some accessories, I believe. Yeah, some bags. But I w there, was, there weren't very many. It was mostly red, ready to wear. There were some sunglasses as well. But the reason I even noticed it was because I saw Balenciaga dress in the window. And I was like, oh, that's Balenciaga, isn't it? And then like saw a Trilogy and I was like, what's this? What's going on? Then I noticed there was like other brands in there. We like, noticed Paco Rabanne. There was like Rixo as well. So it was like also like premium high street stuff. But then it went up to, they had Dior stuff. But the Dior stuff wasn't on sale because it's the new season, new season stuff. So I wasn't sure. Um, what the heck was going on in there so there were a lot there were a lot on sale I think the majority was on sale like 40 50 60 percent off kind of thing and then there were like a smaller section that wasn't on sale there was a section that's, there was a smaller section that wasn't on sale anyways I let's start with Zara I went to Zara and I'm gonna do a try on with you guys so this is one of the items I got I really love it so this is the top um, when I originally wore it the other day I had it all buttoned up because I thought I preferred that but I kind of prefer this now. I like it a little unbuttoned. I mean, it's nothing groundbreaking. <laughs> I'm just unbuttoned. But um, anyways, I love the tortoiseshell buttons. And I just, I love the uh, the crochet of this because it's just the perfect thing to wear right now. It's really cozy. I love the color. It's stunning. And yeah, paired with denim is always good. Um, I wore it with like long, longer flared jeans the other day. Okay, so I have the rest piled up here. But I can't try those on because TMI, it's that time of month. But um, I wanted to share the swimsuit anyway. The color is not, the camera's not doing the color justice. I feel like that's the best I can show, but still in real life, it's still a bit more neon-y than it's showing up. But um, I just thought this was the cutest one piece. I don't love one piece because obviously I like tanning more, but it's still so cute. I love the little cups and the back is really nice as well. It claps in like so. So yeah, I got, that swim top and then I got this dress which I'll put on I love this dress just for reference in case anyone is interested I got a size medium in this um, and my height is 169 centimeters tall um, and I weigh about 55 kgs so this one is in an extra small which is interesting because I originally got a small and even the lady at the till was like, oh, you should go up a size in this because it is really tight and doesn't give very much over here. So I was like, um, I'm going to stick with my gut and go with an S. Then I came home and it was still too big because I'm literally like tiny up top. <laughs> so um, I went back and got an extra small and it fits like a glove now. But I just love the length. It's super comfortable. Um, but yeah, she was. she is right though. This doesn't give a lot so when I did eat a lot yesterday um this did get a bit tighter yes <laughs> but yeah otherwise I love it it's so beautiful and I got so many compliments well just two but two really lovely compliments yesterday so the next one isn't going to be everyone's cup of tea I know it's like a baby doll dress it's like cinched in at the top with some spaghetti straps and then just a massive flow it honestly looks like a nightgown but I was so drawn by the illustration, I recognized it straight away because I follow her on Instagram. And she's done other collaborations with other brands such as Distingual, and I bought her collaboration as well. I had no idea she was doing collaboration with Zara. But um, this is her Instagram, Miranda Makaroff. And I've definitely shared in a haul some of her stuff in the past, um, her collaborations. Anyway, so she did one for Zara. She was, there was a, quite a few things, maybe like four or five different things with like her illustrations on the rest were kind of denim stuff this one was my favorite because of the illustration itself I just think it's so fun um I mean I follow her on Instagram because I just really really thoroughly enjoy her illustrations um her details it's just so cool also her color 
and I love what she paints. I love human bodies and shapes and whatnot. So, okay, I straight up look like I just got out of the shower, guys. <laughs> but, um, like I said, it's not going to be for everybody. I still love it. I'm biased to the illustrator. I think she's fabulous. She's this, I think she's Spanish and she's just so sexy and uh, really cool. I love her vibe. So I love this dress regardless. I think it's cute. I wore it as a beach cover up the other day. I think that's fine. I probably wouldn't like rock up to Harrods in this or anything, but <clears throat> I, not that I wouldn't rock Zara into Harrods. I would rock Zara into Harrods. It's just this particular dress. <laughs> um, this is maybe like if I'm going to go to a friend's house or a pool party or the beach kind of thing, this is something that I would wear. Um, maybe even strapless is cuter. I don't know. We'll see. So this next one is super sexy. I love it. It's also very romantic. Um, very, very bo body hugging. But yeah, I just love the arm area and the ruching there. It's just really pretty, but definitely not something I would wear when I am about to have a big meal. <laughs> I forgot to mention this is in a size small, but you guys probably would have seen that when I showed the tag. And then we have this dress, which I'm obsessed with. This is so stunning, and I can't believe it's Zara. And I believe I even got this one on sale. I believe this was on sale. I don't think that any of the others were, but um, it's just so pretty. I love the sleeves. It's so effortless, and I love the way it sits like that, and the ruching. It's just so pretty. I like how it like opens up. Oops, I'm losing balance. <laughs> okay, let me just suck in my belly. And show you guys the side. <laughs> and this one is in an extra small. And yeah, I just love... It's like a little mermaid dress, huh? So this was actually my last Zara piece. But I also have this that I got from Rixo not too long ago. Um, like I said, they have a store super near. I pass it all the time. So sometimes I pop in there and see what's up. This is a nothing new. I believe this is like in an older collection, but um, it was on sale. So I decided to pick it up. I also got um, a purse to match it. So I have to grab it real quickly. Okay. So here is the dress on. Again, a lovely, very flowy, soft, romantic dress. Love the contrast between um, the two patterns, super pretty. And I added a third contrasting print because um, I saw this little purse, which I thought was super cute. Um, Rixo always has lots of like vintage inspired bags in their stores. Don't quote me, I don't actually know their process, but what it looks like is that they source different vintage or maybe non-vintage, but different pieces on like fabrics and then they create these vintage bags, basically inspired bags. So they're not, the bag isn't vintage, but perhaps these bits are, maybe not. Maybe it's just a vintage inspired bag. Regardless, I think it's really cute. And again, this one was on sale as well. Comes with a dust bag. Um, yeah, super cute. And, and I thought it would be cute to wear it with this. Really quickly before I show the last two things, um, I thought I'd quickly show you guys what I'm wearing today because I haven't shared this top yet. Um, I got it like maybe two weeks ago, I believe, and from Designer Treasure. Um, I'll link their Instagram. And yeah, it's just a vintage Galliano top with the newspaper print and then there's some floral details over it. You guys know how much I love the newspaper print. Yeah, I just love anything that would look good with denim shorts basically for the summertime. <laughs> Actually, guys, I'm going to share these shoes first before I forget. These shoes are so pretty. Stein Goya. I believe it is a Scandinavian brand. Um, I did do a quick Google on this brand, which, by the way, I saw this in a store called... Um, I was going to say Trilogy again. It was not called Trilogy. It was called um, Meet Bernard. And they basically are a concept store. And, yeah, this brand was in there. Um, they have an interesting heel shape as well. Very reminiscing the very popular Mina Moadi shoes at the moment. They're super popular, which are stunning. But, yeah, I love these. I just thought they were so pretty. Um, I, so, like I said, I did a quick Google. Not so fond of their ready-to-wear. I think they're mostly ready-to-wear from, from what I saw. 
But um, these shoes I saw one off kind of randomly in that concept store and I just fell in love. So yeah, I picked these up. I haven't worn them out yet, just at home. So I can't really comment on how well the, the glitter stays on. So I mean, right now from rubbing on it, and I am, you can hear me, I am really brushing on it. Seems fine, but um, yeah, we should test it out outside. Anyways, these two jackets were from Trilogy, and they're both by the same brand called Stan Studio, which again is a Scandinavian brand. I love Scandinavian fashion. They just are the coolest people, and they have the coolest style. I definitely have heard of this brand before. Um, I don't, haven't shopped them as much, but I saw these two, and I just like thought these would be a good introduction to the brand. Um, because these would be my first pieces from the brand, basically. So this is the first jacket on, and I want to make a point to mention this is not real snake. Neither of them are. Um, I got both of them for under, well, they were both under 100 each. So yeah, mind you, they their retail price are usually they usually start around like I would say 250 to 300, maybe 300 for jackets and stuff. So um, I thought that was a really really good deal to get both of them for under 200 for both basically. <laughs> um, yeah, the fit is really nice. It fits like a bomber, even though it's not like a bomber style or anything, but just fits really loose and nice. And you can roll it up. I don't think you can pull it all the way down. Oh yeah, you can. You can roll down the sleeves or roll them up however you want. Love the oversized collar and that there are different colors. This is blue and green. Just the color blocking is really cool. Wow, <laughs> there's a lot going on. This is a lot, definitely, but I think, I think I can pull it off with the right outfit and the right vibe and the right attitude, right shoes, right bag, etc. Um, I freaking love it. It is so cool. This is pretty thin. It's not like thick or anything, but it's like a nice duster coat kind of thickness. Even though this is obviously not real snakeskin and almost looks a little plasticky, um, especially when you move around you can see it more. It still doesn't look like cheap cheap. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. That's just my opinion. I really love this. I don't love that I am buying like more wintry kind of clothing. Um, I tend to like to just buy for the season really. Um, but the deal was just way too good. Also, I just wanted to quickly mention that this material underneath feels so nice. I assume that they would pay attention to the material underneath in all the jackets. Seeing as with these two, yep, it's the same. It's super, super cozy. So it does keep you warm. I want to show you guys a bag that I bought recently. Um, again, on sale. And it's not my typical, it's not, not, not the typical thing that I buy, but... Guys, <laughs> look at this bag. It is big. I mean, it's not like Jacquemus massive big, you know, but it's still a pretty massive bag. What I loved most about it is it doubles as like a pillow, something to sit on. And it really doesn't double as that. <laughs> but you guys get what I mean. It's just so cushiony and soft. I wish you guys could feel this. Um, so this is by a brand called New or NU. It is on King's Road. It is relatively new. It is a Turkish brand and they're very inspired by Isimayaki. Um, you can tell from their ready to wear which is stunning. I actually love their ready to wear and um, I have my eye on a couple of their things but I went ahead and got the bag. This bag was 50% off, so that was amazing. They also had it in like a copper and black. But I got the black and white because I thought it was really simple and cool. And if anything, would make a really cool home decor piece. So I did have that in mind. It would be so nice to have like, you know, like a nice um, wicker chair, this, and then some magazines. And like, I don't know, some of my elephants or something. We'll see. But um, yeah, I love bags like this that can also be interior decor. Um, it also has a really nice thick strap. It feels amazing, guys. And it's pretty light for the size. It is currently stuffed, obviously. 
I mean, I can't be bothered taking all the stuffing out, but it's pretty cushioned on the inside, but there is still solid space. Um, there's a pocket there. Okay, guys, so we just got back from Crockford, Crockford Bridge Farm, which is basically um, like pick it yourself farm where you go and pick all your veg and your fruit. So it was my first time doing it. I thought it was really exciting. Um, we got some raspberries, some green beans, we got loads of strawberries because we're about to make some strawberry cookies, and then my favorite sweet corn. It was my f first time picking sweet corn. Obviously, I've picked strawberries and um, pumpkins before, but no, actually, no, I don't think. No, yeah, okay, I picked pumpkins and strawberries. I was gonna say maybe I like. We went, um, I was gonna say when I go to the pumpkin patch, it's already already picked, I'm sure. Yeah, I think, it, I'm pretty sure it's already picked. So we just have to pick which one we want. But these ones were like still in the ground growing and stuff. So that's pretty exciting for me. So we're about to make some cookies now. It was kind of like a last minute like idea decision. We didn't even know we were gonna go to the farm today. Okay, so we've just preheated the oven for 180 degrees Celsius. And then we're putting baking paper on the trays at the moment. Okay, so the recipe I'm following is from a website called An Italian in My Kitchen. And this recipe calls for one egg, which is here, two tablespoons of lemon juice, half a cup of vegetable oil. This is in a truffle oil thing, but it is vegetable oil. We just put it into a smaller one so it's easier to use or to pour. Um, Half a tablespoon of vanilla. Half a cup of granulated sugar. One and three quarters cup of all-purpose flour. One and a half teaspoons of baking powder. And then, of course, one cup of chopped strawberries, which we haven't chopped up yet. definitely looking a little rough but in between making the cookies I wanted to sit down and show you guys the things that were in this bag these bags <laughs> this is a massive bag for only two very small items and here I went to the Harrods outlet which was in self uh, which is in Westfield the women's shoe section was really really good for me I found several pairs that I liked but in the end I just decided to go with this pair, which is by a brand I've never bought from, Les Petits Jouets. Jouets? <laughs> um, I've seen this, um, I've definitely seen this brand before. Uh, their bags I've seen more. So the clock's about to go off. Um, we went to visit. <laughs> so that is a new addition to the flat, is this like vintage clock that was um, wait, let me actually show you guys. Maybe you guys don't really even care and are more interested in the shoes and in the Gucci bag, but you guys know how much I love my home decor. This isn't mine, it's Conrad's. It actually belonged to his grandfather. It was like gifted to him. I won't say his full name, but it says presented to Mr. Keith, general manager. It's a little plaque at the back, which is really cool opens up there's like i don't know i was like this stuff makes me so excited um so conrad's grandfather actually collected clocks so they have like so many at their house and yeah we brought this one back to have here because it's really pretty it's freaking heavy as well but it makes this noise that that every 30 minutes to an hour so having to get used to that but obviously you have to wind it for it to work so it's gonna stop within like eight days or something you have to wind it again kind of thing so You can see the top moving. So cool. So yeah, it will stop ringing after eight days unless we rewind it up. Anyways, back to the shoes. So this is definitely not gonna be everyone's cup of tea and honestly, off, it does not look that nice. But on the toes, oh my goodness, it's so pretty. I love 
the embellishment and this kind of like 70s kind of style shape going on there. I had to come to my closet because I feel like it's the best place to see the shoes. The other carpet was a bit too busy by the mirror, but look how cute these pop of yellow and the rhinestones. So pretty. Sorry guys, I ran out of battery, but I was in the middle of showing you guys what I got at Gucci. Um, just wandered in the other day, passing by, and I spotted these sunnies first. I think they are so cool. They have these GG logo um, kind of chains and pendant dangling from the side. Oops. And what I love is that you can actually, it's just like a clasp, so you can move it around anywhere you like um, along the, you can move it along anywhere here, which is really cool. I like it in the middle the most. Let me put it on. I just think it's really cute. Like I said, I like hanging it here. It makes it look like you're wearing earrings. I have another pair of earrings on, so it's a bit much, but yeah, these are so fun. I wore these to the beach the other day. Second item, our pair of sandals or slides and these are them. <laughs> these are so cute. They remind me of Barbie, um, obviously with the color and the pink plastic or PVC. Obviously it's got the Gucci red across, um, but honestly my favorite thing about this is how comfortable they are. As soon as I tried them on, they were so comfortable. Obviously I had to wear this like awful like sock to try it on. Um, so they were pretty slippery, but on, um, I obviously tried it on when I got home and I am obsessed. They're so comfortable. I was thinking I'd only wear these to the pool or to the beach, but honestly, I think I might try them with them in the city. I don't know. Might be difficult, but let me just put them on to show you guys because I think it makes your feet look really cute. <laughs> look how cute. They had them in other colors too, like I think light blue, um, yellow. Maybe light green as well. Sorry, I keep saying light. I meant pastel. But I like the pink ones because they were the most Barbie. And I was like, if I want to go, sh go with shoes like this, I might as well go all the way with the vibe. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's see. What do you think? Mm. Tasty. It's still a little doughy in the center. Yeah, it's a little bit doughy. I wish it was sweeter. Not sweet really? enough. Yeah. I like the sweetness. Hmm? You like how it is? Mm-hmm. The sweetness of it. I think it's because maybe the strawberries are not that sweet. A six out of ten. Five. Five is a bit harsh. I'd say six is reasonable. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's okay. Okay guys, I am super excited because right behind me, the mirror reflection, you can see that, well, there's a Fenny bag shopping there, but my new, or our new bench just arrived, which is this amazing vintage um, pine bench. It's from Poland and it's from the early 1900s. Conrad and I spotted this um, somewhere around Whitstable, just at, at a random antique shop. He had the most amazing selection, these gorgeous shells as well, by the way, like massive shells. And we spotted this bench and we both fell in love, um, but we had nowhere to put it. So we came back and kind of worked out where we'd want it and decided to get rid of <clears throat> the bench that I had here and replace it with the bench with the blue bench. So, I've added these pill two pillows here, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it there because I kind of like it like nothing on there as well, or if anything, like maybe like a cylinder kind of um, shape pillow. <laughs> this also doubles as a storage, which is amazing. Um, so we've put everything in these there. Obviously there's, there's that thing there to keep it up, which is really handy. So it's another reason why I don't want to keep it too crowded up top and the color is perfect and I'm not gonna fix these bits up I just like I like it looking like it's been used and loved basically 
I am cheating because I already opened it, <laughs> but then I put it back because I was like, oh, it'll be nice to show you guys. So I pre-ordered this literally like two, three months ago. It's been a minute. Um, when the California Sky Collection came out, that's when I got this. I wasn't huge into the California Sky Collection. I mean, it was cute and I think it looks good on some people, but just wasn't for me. Um, but when I saw this baguette, I just about... I mean, I don't want to be too dramatic, actually. <laughs> but I really, really liked it, is what I was trying to say. And here she is. Um, so when I got her, obviously, she was all wrapped up, but I unwrapped her already, took all the stickers off already, even on the buckle there, I took it off. So I mentioned multiple times that the baguette is probably one of my most used bags in my entire collection of handbags. Um, last summer I used my baguette like literally every other day so I decided to get another one this year and my other one is denim so I thought to get this woven material one with the lilac and the FF logo so it's different enough because my other one doesn't have the FF logo basically it's just denim and the strap is different obviously the strap had the logo on it this one doesn't it's just plain leather um, and the inside is like this so cute, I love the lilac color, it's so pretty. Okay, so this is size comparison. So the other one I have is a large, and this is a medium, so it's a little bit smaller, but honestly, I think this is a really good size for um, a baguette. Okay, here she is crossbody, which I quite like. Sorry about the awful yellow tone lighting in this room. But it's dark out, so I'm not using natural light. I'm just, I tried to use my ring light to make it better, but I don't know. Um, I thought I'd give you guys a comparison of the different baguette sizes, because I believe I have, well, I like realized afterwards, I pretty much have all the sizes. There might be a bigger one. I know this is a large, um, for sure in the men's, there's probably a larger version of this, but I don't know in, if the women's have a larger in the large. Maybe there's an extra large. I don't know. I can check on that. But I know that's the large, this is the medium, which is the newest one. Um, then this is the small, the mini, and then the micro. The micro bag has a really thin gold chain, which I really like. Um, I think for how teeny it is, it's actually quite cute for during the daytime and to wear it more casually, even though it's very, like, obviously uh, very blingy. But I don't know, I think because of the size, it's, it works during the daytime. But of course, it's a really cute evening bag as well. Um, this I definitely have used both in the day and evening. This is great with denim, probably because of the color. But yeah, I really love this one. I got this off of Vestiaire. Honestly, I can't decide which one is my favorite baguette because I feel like all of my baguettes are different enough. Um, obviously, the size is different. And I don't know, they're all kind of special in their own way. I just freaking love it. This one's obviously probably the most casual one. But like I said, this was literally my most used bag in my entire collection. Um, I love the strap to this. This is like probably the focus point of this bag. Um, and I do love how casual it is. It is a denim blue color. It's coming up quite dark because it's dark in here. Um, and obviously the neon orange piping is really fun as well. Um, now this one obviously is my newest one with the woven. Um, FF logo. I love this for the summertime. I think this is going to be a really big hit in my wardrobe and my outfits. And then this one is super special and again another Vestaire find. This is not um, from the original bag. I just didn't like the strap so I took it off and put my own chain on it. But this one is a pink and brown cowhide baguette. It's just so cute and it really makes the perfect 90s outfit look kind of thing. So um, I really, really love this. I know I just kind of like started there and then skipped this and then went there and then back to the middle, but <laughs> um, these bags just get me excited. I can't do it in chronological order. Sorry, I am wearing such a busy top, but I just wanted to share with you guys the kind of size difference and like the drop difference between the large and the medium, because the medium does sit a little bit higher than the large, as you can see. I've only used this bag once so far, so I definitely need to wear it a couple more times to decide whether the size is, the size is okay. But um, I loved this because it fit my camera. This also fits the camera, so that's a good start. Alright, me and my tired, tired face is going to end the vlog now. Um, I've actually already edited the whole vlog, I just needed to end the vlog, so here's me doing that. 
Um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please do hit the thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. Um, leave any comments you guys have down below and hit the subscribe button if you guys haven't already as well as the bell button to get notified and I'd really appreciate it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.